Hello everyone, my name is Dan and welcome back to my channel. So Unified TV have a lot of updates. Some of them is decent and some of them is very bad. And yes, there is another new update that Unified just changed. Yes, you heard it and they did actually post a video on their YouTube channel as well. And yes, it is the new Unified TV interface for your Unified channels. So it's actually pretty good. I did actually post this in my community tab and I asked, I asked you guys if you guys like it or not. And a lot of you guys hate it. <laughs> and here's the reason why. When you click the Unify place, um, it will be normal. It will play the channels. But then if you click menu button and there you go, that's the new interface and it looks very nice actually, I really like like the modern style of it. First it will show you the channel place and it will show you a recommended channel and the thing that I like about this is because the recommended place, the recommended channels, it is actually very good so you don't actually need to remember the channel numbers anymore. You can actually easily find a popular channel there and you don't need to remember the number of it. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. And there's also TV Guide, of course. So anyway, um, if you go, if you look at the left side, and you can see there's channels, movies, and apps. So let's go to movies, and the movie place is actually Hitflix. And it's not actually free, you, need actually, you actually need to pay those movies to watch. And I don't really know about Hitflix plus all that stuff um, if, I, if you guys want to know more information about that you guys can go and ask Unify so anyway let's move on to apps and first of all by they mean apps is not actually giving you guys back the apps that you have downloaded in my application so apps actually mean the app that was given by Unify and the apps that was given by Unify is iFlix and also Unify TV app. So the Unified TV app, I don't, it's not really that important because when you click it, it's, it's only going to show you how to download it in your phone. So you can only download Unified TV app in your phone. So there's no point of putting there. <laughs> the best thing in the apps is just iFlix because, you know, iFlix actually support Unified TV and that's, that's pretty cool, I guess, but you still need to pay it and yeah, that kind of sucks. But yeah, and there's also like eye contest. It's not actually an app, but I guess that's pretty cool as well. So anyway, yeah, there we go. That is the new interface for the Unify channel, please. But they still didn't give us the my application, please, and that still kind of sucks. But hey, just gotta deal with it, you know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, now I'm actually gonna rate the update, the interface, and I'm actually gonna give it seven out of ten. And here's the reason why. So the reason is, let, I'm going to say the good thing about the interface first and I'm going to say about the bad things. So the good things is, it is actually really easy to look at and give you more understanding on where you want to go. Because it doesn't look that confusing anymore like before. So that's actually pretty great. And the best thing about the channel place is that you don't need to, yeah, again, you don't need to remember the channel's number. Like, usually my parents, they always forgot the channel's numbers and that's just very annoying. So, so putting it like this is actually very easy and very quick. So yeah, that's pretty great. So now here's the bad things about it. So the bad thing is that I think a lot of you guys know, it's very laggy. It's not actually so laggy, like you need to wait a minute for it, no. But the thing is, it's actually pretty slow, like, you can feel it's actually pretty slow, like, if you want to go to the movie place or apps, you need to wait, like, two seconds. I know that's not very long, but still, you can still feel the slowness, and it just feels very awkward, and just not, it doesn't feel comfortable to use, and that's, that's the problem that Unify really needs to fix it. I don't really, I don't really know why is it so lag. I don't know if it's because of the spec of it, because you guys do know um, the spec for the box is I think two gig of RAM and the internal storage is not that big. 
I don't know if that the reason why is it so laggy. But yeah, I don't know. But seriously, Unify, you need to fix that because a lot of people hate it. And also, I don't know about you guys, but to me, another problem is about the TV guide. It's just it. I think I like. I think before the update, the TV guide is better than this one. Seriously, like to me, it's a little confusing sometimes, and it just feels uncomfortable to use. I don't know why. And also the font. The font is so small. I don't know. Is it just my eye or? They actually changed the font smaller. Like, did they expect us to literally sit in front of the TV? No, okay. But yeah, I don't know about you guys, but that's just to me. It kind of looks a little smaller. It's really hard to see it. It's, it's really hard to see it. So yeah. So I also have a little idea that I think Unify TV should add it in the interface. Is the fav uh, a favorite tab? Uh, so that you can easily just add your favorite channels in there so again you don't need to remember the channel number and you can just add it in there so you can just quickly use a remote and go to the chan your favorite place and just easily watch your favorite channels there you don't need to remember the number channel it's just my idea I don't know I think it just it will be really great if there's a favorite tab you know so Anyway, I think that's all for this video. I know that I sound like I'm complaining a lot, but I, I actually not complaining. I don't really hate them. I'm just giving my idea and some thoughts and some reviews about it. And yeah, again, I don't really hate them. Uh, you know, like it's up to them if they really want to do this or do that. You know, it's their company. I'm just their customer, so I can't really do anything about it. So yeah. So again, I don't really hate them, you know, and I am actually giving them a chance because like Unify is actually making a, like a new box, the Unify TV Plus box. I don't really know if that's true or not, like we don't really know a lot of information about it, so yeah. But again, we should just give them a chance, like you can see that they're actually getting better, so I think they are actually working on something back there, so yeah, like we not gonna know about it. Like we never know, so you know, just give them a chance, you know. So anyway, that is all for this video. And again, if you guys want to check out my community tab, it's actually in my channel, and if you can also subscribe to me, so every time when I post something in my community, it will show in your subscriptions. So yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to me. If you guys did, I will truly appreciate it. If you like this video, then how about click that like button, and you guys can also share this video to all your friends and family. And I guess. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys! Do you guys like my new mouse? It's it's very cool, it's Al Alcatraz or uh, Alcatraz V777 V777 I mean like, it's pretty old and uh, my laptop can't actually use this, like, it can't run this gaming mouse. Do you see how bad my laptop is? Even just a gaming mouse, like, it, it, it just keeps disconnecting and that's very annoying. Like, do you see how bad my laptop is? <laughs> also, I'm wearing earphone for no reason, guys. I'm not actually hearing, like, like there's no sound. And I actually wear it for no reason. What the heck is wrong with me?